and just like that, it's peak week. So let's go over what I pack in my show day bag because we leave on Thursday. It's Saturday, it's almost game time. Okay guys, let's go over what is in the show day bag. I'm gonna talk you guys through my show day bag when I am traveling to a show. So I'm gonna compete next weekend in my first NPC bikini show. I've done two NFF shows prior to this and this show is going to be in Oklahoma City. I live in Dallas, so it's like a three and a half hour drive. So let's get into it. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Ashley or the running power lifter on Instagram. So that being said, nice to meet you. Let's get into this video. Okay, so let's start with like the body prep stuff, like little things that you need while traveling or to get your body ready. And then we'll talk about like actual show day stuff. So to begin, black bed sheets and black towels. Don't ruin the hotels, bed sheets or towels. It's no fun for anybody. So I have this bag, which I had for my last show as well, with the black towels, um, black bedding. So basically black sheets and like a black soft fuzzy blanket for, you know, being cozy on show day. So I actually use all of this if I'm doing a show local as well, because I don't want to ruin my own bed sheets either. No, no. And <laughs> this is going to be TMI, but a tip that I learned from Natalie Matthews or Fit Vegan Chef is your tan. So you're going to get it everywhere, right? So that's why you have the black bedding and stuff. Um, and when you're going to the bathroom, so if you sit on the toilet seat, put this down like a black towel on the seat where your butt sits because I, I dyed our toilet seat a little orange. I don't think my husband quite realizes that that was me and we're just gonna keep that a little bit of a secret. But pro tip, put this down. And then it's actually nice. You don't have to use like a pee funnel or anything, or at least I didn't. This was good to keep the splashing off of your pretty tan because you know, if you splash that on your tan, I turn weird colors. So avoid that at all costs. So bag just for bedding and towels. Other body prep stuff. I have got all of my tanning stuff. So I do the DIY kit from ProTan and I've done it twice. I absolutely have loved it. So my tanning routine has been on, I guess um, from Sunday through Wednesday, if I have a Saturday show, Sunday through Wednesday, I will use their Get Buffed product, which is, I have a big bottle in my shower right now because so I used it a little early, but it is this scrub and it's basically a pH balanced scrub that will help make your body exfoliated and make your tan go nice and smooth on. And I highly recommend using a lot of that generously all on your body because the first time I put on my tan, my bikini line, clearly I didn't scrub enough and it turned out like spotted. So I had to, you know, make do with that. So just use this, do yourself a favor. Um, so again, that is Sunday through Wednesday and every night I actually put on their sunny day, which is just their like just base tanner, like an everyday tanner to build up some of the base coast coat because you can see I'm a little pale. So I need the color. I need the base tan. And then Thursday night I use a coat of their overnight competition color and you basically put this in a Tupperware and use this guy. So a little, um, applicator dip it in to the Tupperware full of this uh, and you basically paint it on your body and you sleep with this overnight and then rinse in the morning, so Friday morning. And then on Friday, you do two more base coats, one in the afternoon, one in the evening, so they can dry in between, but you don't rinse these off. I use a combination of that overnight base coat color and the super dark. So I have those two items. And then on show day morning, you use their top coat competition color. And you can see mine 100% exploded somehow. So that's why it's in this bag. I'm trying to contain it. That's why all this stuff is in this bag because I don't want it to get everywhere. Tanning's a messy process, guys. It really is. 
Um, and then I also have my show shine for show day right before I go on stage to make sure I'm nice and glazed up, showing off the muscles. Oh, and one more thing that's very important. You are going to want a latex glove to put under your tan applicator so you don't get your hands like covered, like weirdly covered in tan because tan will seep through this thing. Okay. A little more pre-show day prep. You want to have your nails painted. So I did my own toes with just this Insta Dry Sally Hansen, a pretty basic color that I thought would go with everything. And then either show day morning or before, I will put on some fake nails. I have two different kinds of nails here. I have just a drugstore kiss nails. It's a French manicure. And then these static nails, these are from online. I don't know which one I want. We'll see. I think I might go with the static nails this time because I think it will go just kind of nice with my suit color. We'll see. Okay, so some more stuff that you'll use before actual show day that you'll want to bring. Um, first of all, you'll probably want some slides to walk around in. Um, I have these slides from the Shoe Fairy, and they're so cute. I'm not a blingy kind of girl, but on show day, it's fun. It is just fun. So, <gasps> I love these. I think they're so adorable. Um, and I also use the Shoe Fairy's competition heels. I have their Olympians and their Olympian mules. Um, so actually, here are my Olympians. I keep them in front of my mirror for posing. I'll of course bring these, but um, they also have jewelry, which I'll show you guys my jewelry in a second. Code Ashley saves you 10% and love their products. So happy shopping. Speaking of the Shoe Fairy, um, one more product from them that I like to use before show day. And this is their Cozy Queen big long t-shirt. So I've slept in this. I also like to just wear this around like right after my tan is dried a little bit because um, it lets all the air flow in. I also have some more black clothes I'll wear. Guys, I, for show day, I just basically pack black on black on black because if you sense the theme here, your tan gets everywhere. So the first black item I have here um, these are super cozy pants. So I actually prefer wearing these to sleep because sometimes um, the tan makes your legs kind of sticky. So if you're wearing like a dress and your legs can stick together, they just feel yucky. So I like separating my legs and they're just these very simple like jogger PJ type pants. I got these at Target. Uh, I also got this at Target, which is just a dark sweater. So it's thin, but thick enough to where I feel like it's it's not too hot, but it's not too cold. It's just right. And then here is a, an adorable little jumper that my teammate got me. I think she got it from Amazon, but yeah, cute little black jumper. Um, and I have worn this to check-ins. I also wore this after my show last time because it's just that cute. So black clothes check we love black clothes on show day and before show day tan time the last thing i'm going to talk about of the pre-show day stuff that you may need to bring uh, because i am traveling i am going to bring all of my food and water all that fun stuff so i just actually picked up some groceries where i got lots of waters to put in the hotel room um you don't want to run low on water i don't cut water at all but on show day, like I think I literally drink like 60 ounces of water in the morning before show day because I'm a water machine. So I want to make sure I have plenty of that around um, as well. Food, you want to bring food. I bring everything that I normally use. Like I make sure I have the same amount of caffeine that I have on a normal day because I don't want the caffeine headaches. Um, but I am going to bring two types of food to show. So we have our dried goods. And I don't have everything in here yet because it's still a week from the show, but um, I'll basically bring things in bulk, like bags of chicken, bags of rice, bags of rice cakes. Yes, so rice cakes and rice cakes and any kind of supplements I want to use. Like, you know, I already I have little sample packs of um, some pre-workout and things like that that I might use around show day. Also have 
straight carbs, these apple and strawberry and plain fruit bars from Trader Joe's. So yeah, all dried goods are gonna go in here, including condiments, salt, and everything else that I use on a daily basis. Then I have my cold stuff. So whether it's frozen or refrigerated, I have this Arctic cooler and I actually have my snack bag from a previous trip in here. Um, and I'll bring utensils and a food scale, literally the whole nine yards, whether it be in here with this, this guy with ice packs or in my dry goods bag. It's a lot of bags, I am aware. But you wanna be set on show day, right? You wanna be comfortable, you wanna have your food and all the goodies. Now, let's transition to show day stuff. What do you need on show day? You guys saw me put down this travel size suitcase. I will likely bring this to the actual venue with my heels, my backup suit, um, my extra makeup items, food, pump up bands. So I've brought dumbbells in the past, but that's honestly gonna be too much of a hassle. I'd rather have these bands here. So again, I'll bring this travel size suitcase, my rolling bag, so as not to create marks on my shoulders with carrying around something heavy. I'll bring this guy. I will, on show day morning, before actually leaving for the venue, of course, do my makeup. So I have done my own makeup for both of my competitions. I'll link the uh, my makeup tutorial down below. But anyways, you can see it's this big bag. I won't go into all of the things that I use on show day in terms of makeup because that video has everything. I'm gonna pick up a couple more things at the Sephora VIB sale because I'm a Rouge member. I spend too much money at Sephora for no reason. I don't even wear makeup that much. You guys are getting a treat today with my makeup face because I'm about to go get my hair done. And I felt like looking pretty. So, yeah. And other show day things. While I'm getting ready, I will probably be wearing my gorgeous black robe from Angel Competition Bikinis. So Angel Competition is my suit sponsor and guys, I love them so much. They create the most amazing suits. And speaking of suits, so in addition to this beautiful robe, which actually also has my name on it. Oh, it has the little angel competition bikini girl and my name. So I'll wear this while I glam myself up. Very fun. I also have my suits, of course. So I have this competition suit here, which is the brand new one I just got yesterday. It's a custom suit. I got a petite medium top, which is just literally perfect for me. It's got the vertical length uh, that I need, like I need a little more coverage because your girl has got some chest muscles that I just, I didn't feel. The small top that I wore last time, it was fine, but I felt like it exposed so much chest muscle and bikini's not really about chest muscle. So um, I have my suit that I'll wear this time, but I'm also gonna bring a backup suit because that's important in case something happens to that suit. I mean, you guys know, things can just go wrong easily. So I will probably not bring my red one, although I love it, I wore it for my last competition. It is so beautiful, but it's that small size top and I think I'd rather wear my first suit that I wore, which is this one here uh, with a medium size top. Gorgeous too. Gosh, I just love that suit. It is beautiful. So I'll probably bring this guy um, and I'll probably switch out the hard case to put in my actual show day suit. And then we've got our jewelry. So I have got two bracelets, one thick one and one thinner one, as well as a ring and two pairs of earrings, one in here and then one in here, which I, I just adore these earrings. These are from the Shoe Fairy and both the Shoe Fairy and Angel Competition bikinis both have jewelry. And by the way, I am a sponsored athlete with Angel Competition bikinis. Code Ashley, again, the Shoe Fairy and Angel Competition bikinis both get you 10% off. Love these earrings. And actually on my first show, uh, one of the girls backstage, her earrings broke and she was like, ah, does anybody have any earrings that I can wear? And I happen to have my two pairs because backups are a lifesaver. So she wore my earrings on stage, which was pretty fun. Uh, and we ended up competing against each other in the overall, which was 
even more fun. Um, the last couple of things I want to point out that I'll bring. Mask. So you guys know what's happening in the world right now. So we do need to wear our masks. You can see I got this nude one. Um, it's from Anho Competition Bikinis as well. They do matching ones to your suit, but I would rather go with the nude. Uh, I don't want to take away from my physique. I, if I have to wear it on stage, I want it to be blending in with myself. Last but not least, the hair. I have naturally pin straight hair. There's no use in doing anything other to it than straightening it. So I'll be sure to wash it right before my tan on Thursday night. So probably Thursday morning, I'll wash the hair, blow dry, straighten it. Um, and then again, that's Thursday. So I have Friday and then Saturday. So I'll need my dry shampoo, which is also great for volume. And then my Boldify, which is another volume product. So then I will have nice, luscious, blonde, straight hair. And I'll bring my straightener along with me just to do some final you know, touch-ups on the hair. And I'm getting it dyed a little bit more kind of like cool blonde color because that's my favorite look on me. And yeah, so hair will be on fleek for the show. I think that is about it for the things that I'll pack on show day. Um, I know I, I briefly mentioned that I have my shoes as well. So these are the Olympian mules from the shoe fairy, or sorry, these are the Olympians, not the Olympian mules. The Olympian mules don't have the strap. I have both pairs. I will probably bring both pairs because do, you just never know, right? I want to have a backup of almost everything just in case the worst happens. And essentially peak week and competitions. Um, I have said this a thousand times. I want to keep things predictable, consistent. That's why I try to eat, you know, the same foods that I know digest well with me. That's why I want to have backups of things. That's why I want to have water in my room. Uh, I just want to keep things low stress and just be able to truly enjoy the whole day without worry. Okay guys, I think that is, ooh, that's, that's it for my hip. Ooh. Uh, again, I think that's it. I will be filming my show day as much as possible. I'm super excited. Again, first in PC show, it's just a little bit different than NFF. I expect the show to be a little bit bigger than the shows that I have done this year. And I'm excited to see how it goes. And my mindset going into this thing is just one, have a good time to celebrate all of my accomplishments that I've had this year, you know, prepping through COVID, getting COVID, still prepping, doing a show the next week, and you know, just all the all the work I put into it, right? And three, have no expectations. Just go into it with an open mind, ready to meet some of the other girls, be inspired by them, and like I said, my first first point have fun. Okay guys, that is it for this video. If you have any questions, please let me know, drop me a comment and be sure to like and subscribe if you want more content. And I will talk to you in the next one, uh, probably my peak week and or show day. We'll see how it goes. But anyways, thanks for all the encouragement from you guys. I so appreciate it and catch you on show day.